Just wanted to share with you an Excel gradebook template for teachers. You can download this file at 1drv.ms forward slash capital N5 capital Q capital U JF. This here is a J. Okay, so I just want to highlight some points here. What you have here is a gradebook and uh, what we have here is math and notice how uh, this math 8 block is in pink as you scroll down you can use two fingers on your touchpad to scroll down you can visually see this color for a math 10 block is different is a different color so you can quickly find it visually and this here is blue wonderful what else do we have here that's interesting we have last names, first names, we have student numbers, phone numbers, uh, ELL. Some schools uh, re require that you have to designate whether your students are ELL or not. And uh, this summary view is very useful. I love Excel because it's pretty quick to access information at a glance in terms of all your students. I do also use Evernote uh, for some other details and log with parents but it's kind of nice to have an overview of academic performance. Uh, if they have a textbook, it's nice to have everything in, on, in one shot as opposed to always having to hunt around for different papers. Okay, so what we have here is um, chapter tests at a summary view right away. It's nice to have that. We have some cumulative results. We have some quizzes, and of course the quiz average here is, is uh, based off these quizzes. And I'm gonna scroll down here and what I have here for these tests, as I, as I type in the numbers here, is I actually go to conditional formatting and go to color scales. And by choosing this first option, you get a very quick visual way of seeing how your students are doing, whether they're improving or um, whether they're getting worse over time. And this is really nice to visually see how your students are progressing. And of course, it's nice to see the class average. And relating to that, if you teach more, if you teach the same uh, course in more than one block, uh, you can kind of get a sense of how the class is doing as a whole. And here we have the average of this grade 10 class, and we also have the average of this grade 10 class. And what I have here is a summary average. Uh, for all the tests for all my grade tens and this is kind of low so you get a sense of where whether you should make the future test a bit easier or not just to make it fair year to year and of course if you're held to some objective standard such as a standardized test or some state exam uh, that you can always uh, get a sense of how hard uh, you should make a test to to be in line with the historic average of your school I have this nice line here just to uh, confirm whether you've taken attendance for that day. It's, uh, it's nice to remember things so that uh, the office uh, can uh, be uh, happy with uh, your attendance taking and for the safety of the students. Okay, so is there anything else here? This here, uh, in terms of the number of students in your class, is based off a of formula here, is equals to count A. So as you add more students, as, as you insert more rows, this hopefully should automatically update. You can see there's these classes are pretty full at 30. And I should also mention that uh, what we have here is uh, columns A and B are frozen. These, uh, uh, these two uh, columns are frozen such that as you add more information and you scroll all the way to the right here, you can see that because it's frozen, you can always remember uh, which student you're talking about. This is great. And to freeze the panes, you go to View, Freeze Panes. And uh, as you uh, uh, freeze panes, you just have to make sure that you're clicking uh, uh, near the, the top uh, cell uh, to, to be able to freeze just the ones you want. Let me just try that right now. So here, I'm going to click on C, C1. And I'm going to go to freeze panes, freeze panes, and you can see this line gets dropped right here. So whatever you sell you're on, the top left uh, line drops down such that columns A and B are frozen. 
So other people might use different grading soft gradebook software, and and the nice thing about uh, those kind of software, sometimes the office staff automatically sends you a list of students, but it's it's very personal. As long as you report a, a final grade, it's it's up to you. What I like about Excel is the visual colorization of these grades. You can prog track the progress. You can get a sense of uh, how hard you should make a test by uh, just uh, analyzing the a the ongoing average updates of your classes. And of course, as you get to learn uh, the powerful features of Excel using macros and whatnot, you can make Excel into a quite uh, a complicated and powerful program that does a lot of processing. And of course, if you have some additional information you want to just keep uh, at a reference, you can always add more information on a second worksheet. You can also uh, have a different workflow depending on uh, what you uh, works for you. I use Evernote to keep track of uh, parent um, uh, teacher uh, interactions. And hopefully you found this uh, video interesting. And of course, you can download the file here. Just leave me a comment if you liked it.